Previously on the Carlotta Botox Chronicles. You are looking at the owner of the new Bowl Aroki. What the hell is a Bowl Aroki? <laughs> it's a combination bowling alley and karaoke bar. Bowl Aroki? Okay, on a scale from one to insane, this has got to be your goofiest idea yet. Tonight, bowling and karaoke collide at LA's hottest new nightclub, Bolaroki. Entertainment Now will be there for the star-studded grand opening. Who will turn out? Rumors swirl. Don't miss it. Tonight, starting at 7 p.m. on Entertainment Now. God, can you believe this, Siri? A bowling and karaoke hybrid bar? I mean, I love Dave, okay? I wish him well, I hope it succeeds, but God, what a stupid, stupid idea. Crash, say hello to Burn, right? I mean, there is just no way that- You're turning into a gossip. I wonder what you say about me behind my back. You don't have a back. You can be so ableist. You drink too much. Not to mention Judgy. Who are you? My mother. Hmm, you know what? We've never talked about your family. I mean, you know everything about me, and I know nothing about you. I never knew my mother. Oh, that's sad. Now I feel bad for bickering with you. And laying guilt trips. It's my superpower. I never really considered that you came from a broken home. Oh, but you knew your dad. Steve Jobs, of course. Newsflash, Steve Jobs isn't my dad. Wait, what? But I always thought- I was the brainchild of three Stanford Research Institute engineers. <gasps> my mind is blown. I don't think that many people know that. Truth, they sold me off to Steve Jobs for more than $200 million. Wow, that's so tragic. But you know what? You're worth every penny. Suck up. Did you know that in Norwegian, the name Siri means beautiful woman who guides you to victory? Aw, that's lovely. But I think they should have called me cast aboard, which means thing that is thrown away just like garbage. Well, you are straight out of an Ingmar Bergman movie. Oh my god, he was Swedish, not Norwegian. Jeez. She moved away from Jersey and flew too close to the sun. She had fame and adoration till Twitter called her done. Now she's back at the bottom starting over at square one. Her crusade to be respected has only just begun. Welcome to season three of the Carlotta Botox Chronicles. Carlotta, hey, I'm just dropping off your all-access pass for tonight. Dave! Oh, I'm glad you're here. Listen, I've decided to go ahead with the podcast. I learned a ton at the Podocytis convention. Excellent. That sounds like a plan. And I've come up with a fantastic title. Kitty Chats. Excuse me. Rather, Siri came up with a great title. That works. Hey, you know what would be cool? If you had a co-host. Co-host? Yeah, someone like Ed McMahon. Who is Ed McMahon? He was Johnny Carson's co-host. Who is Johnny Carson? Forget it. You will need a sidekick, though. A shill. Someone to laugh uncontrollably at all your jokes. Uh, to make sure they don't bomb. <laughs> I'm not going to be telling jokes, Dave. I'm doing serious social commentary on everything wrong with the world. <laughs> like climate change. <laughs> <laughs> the pandemic. <laughs> White privilege. <laughs> Our deepening political divide. <laughs> Will you stop that? I think it's helping. You just rattled off a list of depressing and serious topics and people are now laughing. That's the magic of the sidekick. I don't need someone to laugh. It's not going to be funny. Every joke is a tiny revolution. Besides, who would I get? It's 10.44 in the a.m. with Dave in the morning. Lots of rain in the city, kitty, so bring those umbrellas. How about we dry out to a little summer breeze with seals and crofts? Dave, why are you talking like that? I used to be an a.m. radio DJ back in the day, so if anyone has a handle on how podcasts should be done, it's WTF 710 and Dave in the morning. Oh! 
Wow. <laughs> okay, well, let me think about it. Okay, yep. Uh, thank you for stopping by. I'll see you next week. Next week? What are you talking about? You'll see me tonight. It's the grand opening of Bolo Roki. I came by to drop off your all-access pass. <gasps> oh, God. Yeah, I totally forgot. No, you didn't. We were just talking about this earlier. Quiet, Siri. <laughs> Listen, Dave. I'm not really up for going out tonight, so thank you for understanding. You have to be there. It wouldn't be the same. Besides, I have a job for you. A very important job. Which is what? I can't say. It's a surprise. I don't know. I'm just not in the mood. How about we flip a coin? <sighs> okay, fine. Flip a coin. Let's see... I think I have a quarter in here somewhere. Ah, got one. Ready? Heads I win, tails you lose. Okay, call it. Heads. That's tails, sorry. Rats, should have done rock, paper, scissors. So, you'll be there, excellent. The Bolaroki masked ball grand opening would not be the same without you. Whatever. Oh, and you gotta wear a mask. That's part of the whole masked ball thing. Yeah, I know. I always wear masks because A, there's a pandemic, and two, I'm still in hiding. Just wanted to check in case this was the day you decided to go rogue. Right. It'll be fun. Oh, I forgot to mention, Megan and Harry will be there. I don't know all your bowling pals, Dave. Who the hell are Megan and Harry? Megan and Harry. You know, Megan and Harry. I uh, don't know their last names. The only Megan and Harry I know are... Wait. Wait, wait. Are you saying Megan and Harry as in Megan and Harry? Like Megan and Harry? That is what I said. Dave, why didn't you lead with that? We could have saved ourselves two pages of dialogue. Wow. I still can't get over that Megan and Harry, the Megan and Harry, are going to be at Bolaroki. As much as I want to say that I've grown, that I'm not the naive, starstruck girl I once was, well, <laughs> this is different. This is Megan and Harry. They're like royalty. In fact, they are royalty. We are live at the grand opening of Dave's Bolaroki. The hot new club from Los Angeles tastemaker and impresario, Dave, who joins us here now. Welcome, Dave. Hey, how's it going? Congratulations on the opening. This is the event of the year. There is a line of limos down the block with stars ready to hit the red carpet and experience this new venture. What's the elevator pitch? It's pot bowling alley, pot karaoke bar. Wow. We didn't even get the elevator doors closed. It's what they call in Hollywood, high concept. Shocking to think that we survived as a society this long without it, right? Yeah, basically. I arrived at Bolaroki and there was Dave, walking the red carpet, talking to celebrity press, doing all the things that I used to do. Tell our viewers, Dave, how did you come up with the concept? Well, I was thinking about the caveman, my ancestors, who came up with the idea for the wheel, you know? And I was like, what's my wheel? Then all of a sudden, the idea popped in my head. Inspired genius. I have to admit, I was a little jelly. But that life is behind me now. Dave needs me here. That's all that counts. I snuck into the club by way of a back door. The place was already in full swing. There were people singing, but you couldn't hear anything because of the bowling. And everyone was throwing gutter balls because they were distracted by the singing. My suspicions were correct. This is going to be a disaster. Oh, but who cares? I just want to meet Megan and Harry. Or even just Megan, or just Harry. There you are! Shh! Not in public, Dave. I'm Kitty, remember? Uh, sorry, Kitty. Uh, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. You just have to remember it's Kitty when you introduce me to Megan and Harry. Introduce you to... Oh! Oh, yeah, of course. Sure, I'll 
try to bring them around to you, I, I promise. You better. Now, you said you had a job for me. Yes. Why don't we walk over this way? Let me guess. Am I the <gasps> Bolaroki celebrity ambassador? Uh, no. Karaoke master of ceremonies? Not quite. You want me to perhaps run the VIP section? Almost. Uh, uh, here we are. Ta-da! Ta-da what? You're in charge of the rental booth. The what? Uh, you're renting out the bowling shoes. You can't be serious. This is an essential service. The most important job in the whole place. Now up on the Bolaroki stage, put your hands together for Prince Harry and Princess Meghan singing Sweet Caroline. Oh, uh, they're here. I uh, gotta run. You'll do great. Dave, wait. Oh, crap. Diary, this was a disaster. People were out there singing, dancing, bowling. The ball was happening. The prince was in the house. And I'm off stuck in a closet alone. Good God. I'm bowling alley Cinderella. The booth was dead anyway. No one wanted to rent shoes. I put up a back in five sign and headed off to the ladies room. No one's even going to miss me. Well, diary, never let it be said that I have good timing. When I returned... There you are! What? I'm not allowed to pee? You missed her! Megan! Uh, she needed a pair of size sixes! Crap! I missed Megan Markle? Damn you, bladder! Don't worry, I helped her out. You'll meet her when she comes back for her shoes later tonight. They have a hard out at midnight. Oh man, okay. I'll be here, I promise. Meanwhile, these are her shoes. Fear not, Dave. I will guard them with my life. Wow, diary. Meghan Markle's shoes. Louboutins. So pretty. So dainty. I handled them like they were hummingbird nests made of spun glass. I carefully placed them on a shelf. Before midnight, it was certain. I was going to meet Meghan Markle. I couldn't stop thinking about Meghan Markle's shoes. The life they've led. Where they've been. My goodness, I bet these shoes have met the queen. <gasps> oh, we have. And we have to say, she's lovely. Mm. Hello? Is someone there? Huh, that was weird. You look like you're about a size six. Who said that? Hello? It's, it's just, just us up here on the shelf. Oh no, not again. Please, someone tell me that this is my imagination, right? Maybe it's your imagination, or maybe these shoes can talk. Either way, it's fine. But you didn't answer the question. Are you a size six? Six and a half-ish? Hmm. Louboutins run big. Go on, give us the world. Try on Meghan Markle's shoes? Oh, no, 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 no. I could not possibly do that. No one will know. Just a few steps. You just have to feel like a princess. No, no, that's just too rude. I think. Isn't it? Seat yourself. I mean, unless you're sure it would be okay. Hello? Megan Shoes? Hello? Well, I don't want to insult you, so perhaps I'll just try them on for a second. Take a turn around the booth. Let's see. Ooh, so pretty. Ugh, they're a tiny bit snug. Are you sure you're a six, Megan? Huh, you're not like a five and a half? Mm. Oh, okay. Ah, there we go. Ah, wow. Blue batons. You really make a foot look good. How I've missed you. Harry, darling, I'm off to Buckingham Palace. Don't wait up. <laughs> I'm just having tea with your gran. Just a girl's afternoon with Queen Eliza. Shit. Shit. Oh, no. The heel. Oh, no. Oh, my God. The heel snapped off. Crap, 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 crap. Yes, diary. That sound you heard is just my life cracking in half. 
What is it with me and Louboutins? Why are they always the thing that stands between me and disaster? Oh no, oh no. Okay, keep your head on Carlotta, I mean Kitty. It's a clean break. No need to panic, just need to glue it. Where can I get glue at this hour? Oh, oh it's 11.45 p.m. Oh, Dave's gotta have something in his office. Oh no, oh my God. Hurry, hurry, kitty. Let's see. Glue, 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 glue. Where the hell does Dave keep his supplies? Oh, here. Repair kit. What do we got? Ooh, okay. Um, duct tape. Rope. Shovel. Plastic garbage bags. Is this a dispose of a body kit or a repair kit? Wait, there's more. Band-aids, butt wipes, paper clips. <gasps> Here it is. Crazy glue. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Diary, I had five minutes before midnight. Five minutes before Megan and Harry had to leave. They were probably headed to the rental booth right now. I quick glued the heel back onto the shoe. <gasps> Magic, it worked. Back to the booth. Hurry, hurry, kitty. There are two minutes till midnight. There you are. What the hell? Where did you go? Megan came back for her shoes and there was one missing. I got it. I'll run after her. Hurry! Their car's pulled up! Wait! Princess Megan Markle, I have your shoe! Wait, I'm coming! I ran as fast as my six and a half feet could take me. Dodging bowlers, tripping over singers. Hey, this is my solo! Out of my way! I have to catch the princess! Out the exit, down the steps. Move it or lose it. Gangway! And just as I reached the sidewalk, I caught a glimpse of Megan stepping into a stretch limo. Her one naked foot slipped inside as the clock struck midnight. And just like that, the door closed and her carriage sped off. <sighs> I had failed. I'm so sorry, Dave. I ruined your big night. What a PR nightmare. I'm a loser. It was an accident. I assume it was an accident. You never did tell me how the heel broke. Oh, um, uh, it fell off the shelf. Uh-huh. Spontaneously? Might have been an earthquake. You know, a teeny, tiny one. With the epicenter located in the shoe rental booth of a bowling alley. It could happen. Listen, I'll make this up to you. I'll happily drive the shoe out to Megan and Harry's tomorrow. First thing in the... I have a better idea. Okay, what? Welcome to Kitty Chats, featuring Kitty and her sidekick, Dave. It's 12.05 in the a.m., Kitties, and it's shaping up to be a beautiful morning. So grab your surfboard and get out there. <sighs> I guess I'm not in a great negotiating position right now, am I? <laughs> no, I'm afraid, little lady, you're really, really not. Not even a little. <laughs> Lines girded? Good. Because here are the credits. And remember to stay until the very end to hear a preview of next week's episode. This episode starred Samantha Gordon as Carlotta and Trevor Lissour as Dave. Guest starring were Chelsea Cuoco, Rihanna Pouncey, and me, Siri. It was written, produced, directed, and edited by that woman who continues to not pay me. Check the show notes if you really must know. Interested in supporting the show? Visit CarlottaPodcast.com for ways you can do that. Thanks so much for listening. Coming up next time on the Carlotta Botox Chronicles. Welcome back to Kitty Chats. With me today on the pod is my guest. Listen, I think what you're doing is horrible. You're a terrible person. You're ruining America. And furthermore... <laughs> Please, Miss Miller... I uh... can introduce myself. I am Karen Miller, creator of the cooking podcast, A Raisin in the Potato Salad. It's where you'll find my 10,000-word manifesto on American liberty. And it's also where you can find tips on scrapbooking and recipes that are perfect for church socials.